Hi guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't seen a video of mine, um, an earlier video of mine, why? <laughs> but uh, also let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Aparna. I am a gemologist, a jewelry designer as well as a journalist. Um, if you want to read some of my work or if you want to see some of my work, I'm going to leave a couple of uh, links in the description. Now today's video is on one of those questions um, that you know um, they say and nickel for every time you've been asked that question um, and for me as a gemologist um, it is do gemstones really work. Uh, now if you're an Indian, if you're Indian, ho, aap India mein rahe ho, you've traveled to India um, and been here for a, a fair amount of time, uh, you would know that gemstones um, is one of India's many religions. Um, Indians wear gemstone rings, they wear them in pendants, um, uh, we wear them across genders, across uh, different strata of society and um, some people even wear rings on all 10 fingers and all 5 fingers. So it's really omnipresent in India. Now typically what happens is when you hit a roadblock and this is in certain um, uh, arenas of life, so it's um, primarily your um, education. Uh, career, jobs, um, then your love life, uh, marriage or the lack of it and then after marriage the problems that come uh, with marriage um, and then um, areas of your finance. So in these areas when you face a roadblock um, you uh, and you know uh, your regular um, just trying to work them out doesn't uh, help um, or you're in a really really difficult phase of life you turn to God or you turn to an astrologer. Now when you go to an astrologer, what uh, he or she does is uh, looks at your uh, birth chart, uh, your um, Janam Kundali or your Patrika and um, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, complex um, uh, interrelationships between the planets uh, there and the current uh, Dasha of those planets. Um, so uh, based on these uh, very complex um, and uh, interesting calculations, um, he or she will suggest one or a combination of gemstones uh, which are supposed to be one um, again typically for a couple of months or a couple of years. Uh, very rarely will Indian um, astrologers um, suggest a gemstone that you wear for the entirety of your life. So what people uh, do is when they come from the astrologer and uh, they then come to the gemologist or the jeweler to buy the gemstone and they say listen um, astrologer has asked me to wear uh, this gemstone and for certain such periods, such and such size, you may in a ring. Uh, but I want uh, your opinion as a gemologist, do you think this works? Now, there are, there are different uh, ways of looking at this. Uh, the, most, uh, uh, the most important uh, aspect is, does one actually believe in astrology? Personally, um, I think astrology is a very, very, very interesting um, and a very complex uh, study. It is important uh, that you find an astrologer uh, that you vibe with, uh, just like um, you know a doctor or any other professional uh, that you approach. It is important that you vibe and you trust, uh, vibe well with, and you trust uh, the astrologer. It is also very important that they are very experienced and not those sort of you know fly fly by the seat of their pants people uh, who put up posters in classified saying. You know, kya aapki zindagi mein ye um, uh, shadi problem hai to ye pehniye ya rambar upaya and you know those are, I mean everybody knows that's crappy stuff. Um, so it's very important that you find somebody who's very experienced, has a lot of experience uh, reading birth charts and um, somebody that you personally buy well with. Uh, so if, um, uh, if you find a, such an astrologer, he's like a spiritual guru to you more than just somebody who is going to you know randomly um, suggest things that you uh, accept without questioning and then you know you just do as uh, um, the word of God. Um, typically in your interactions with astrologers please ask a few questions. I've seen a lot of uh, people just say okay astrologer told me to wear this and I just said yes and I came to you and you know ask a couple of questions. I mean there's no need to butcher or uh, annoy the poor uh, chap or the poor woman but um, ask a couple of questions on why you need to wear the stone and you know uh, which planet um, uh, is is um, 
prominent and which planet is it representing? Ask a couple, at least a couple of questions. Don't be like such a guy, like who bola mene kia. You know, just ask a couple of uh, questions and try to know a little bit more. And then when you come to a gemologist or when you come to a jeweler to buy the gemstone, try and vibe with the gemstone too. A lot of people just come say, listen, I have a problem. Astrologers told me to wear. Let's just get this over with. Ye de do mere ko ye budget hai. Oh my God, ten thousand? No, too much. Let's do five thousand. Oh, okay, fine. Let's do seven thousand. And it's very transactional. So try and buy with the gemstone as well because these gemstones are really, really beautiful. They are rare and precious minerals from the earth, and um, um, they are a thing of beauty. So um, I'm just going to quickly show you the gemstones that Indian astrologers uh, recommend. This is in the realms of um, the Navratnas, which are the nine gemstones that correspond uh, that correspond to the nine planets. Two of these are not planets; they're shadow planets. So let me just quickly show you. These are rings. These are um, you know you won't be able to see them properly, but I'm just going to show you anyways. Most of us know these. Um, this is the ruby, manik. Uh, ruled by the sun, pearl ruled by the moon. I'm not showing this from the wrong side. Yes, pearl ruled by the moon. Munga, um, coral ruled by Mars, which is Mangal. Uh, then yellow sapphire, big, beautiful, gorgeous yellow sapphire ring. Also, one of the most recommended uh, gemstones in Indian astrology because it's very, it's very benign. It's very unlikely that a yellow sapphire will work adversely um, um, with anybody, uh, no matter what your chart is, because it's a chart is because it's a very uh, generous and a very expansive planet, and those qualities translate to the gemstone. Um, so this is uh, the yellow sapphire, Pukraj, ruled by Guru or Jupiter. This is the gorgeous but extremely feared. God alone knows why. Uh, blue sapphire, which is a nilam, ruled by Shani, Saturn. Uh, this, of course, is uh, Panna or uh, emerald, ruled by Mercury, Buddh, and uh, diamond, um, Hira, uh, ruled by Shukra or Venus. And the last two, which I said, are not planets but shadow planets. One is um, Rahu, uh, which is ruled by um, um, this beautiful Gome, which is a gorgeous uh, cinnamon-colored gemstone um, known as Hesai garnet. And Ketu, uh, I've I've seen very few astrologers uh, recommend uh, Ketu. Um, and the stone that it is ruled by is the okay. Let's see this properly. I don't have a ring, so I'm just going to show you the stone. Is uh, this thing called chrysoberyl cat's eye? I mean, it literally looks like cat's eye. Um, it's it's a very beautiful stone. Uh, it's an olive, a white to olive colored stone with a line in the middle that moves. So it's an incredibly beautiful uh, stone. Your recommendations will be within these nine uh, navagrahas, um, or he might ask you to wear uh, a navagraha ring which incorporates all nine stones. Now, um, so when uh, uh, number one aspect to the entire does gemstone work is you need to trust your astrologer. It's a very complex, very complicated science. You need to believe and trust the person that you're working with. That is really important. Second is try to vibe with the gemstone. I don't just think of it as, as something external that's going to come and solve your problem. Try and establish a relationship with the gemstone. A lot of people in India keep uh, because uh, blue sapphire is like so feared. And I'm going to talk about it a little more later. Nila um, is so feared. Log nila apne pas rakte hain. You don't buy it uh, asap. Uh, you um, and this also happens with diamonds because they're expensive. Um, is you keep the nila or the diamond with you for a couple of days, sometimes a week, uh, if your jeweler or your gemologist allows that. Uh, and then if something terrible doesn't happen to you or it, uh, you know. If something, if it doesn't work adversely against you, um, you'll know that in the first uh, week or so, and then you can go ahead and buy it. Um, so uh, number two is just try and buy with the gemstone. Try and, of course, the price and where it's mined; those things are important. But also try and understand like 
you know feel its beauty and um, sort of um, see the beautiful like just looking at a gemstone it, it's got such beautiful inclusions and um, it's just such a thing of beauty so try and admire that um, before you buy it just to solve your problem and now the, the third aspect is um, how is okay so I have trusted my astrologer uh, I have trusted my gemologist and I have uh, uh, vibed with this gemstone uh, how is it now going to solve my problem now thinking of um, um, uh, typically solving a problem or solving any uh, roadblock overcoming any roadblock in life um, has the influence of a number of variables um, it's never just one thing that works I mean if you tell me that uh, listen I'm not getting married I'm going to you know somebody has recommended that um, I wear uh, or I wear a, a Rahu and uh, I'm going to get magically married um, that just sounds stupid <laughs> you know, sound like a nut case um, so um, you need to actually look for a life partner if you want to get married uh, you need to um, you know you need to um, understand that person you need to actively do things uh, to make that marriage work and then there is that element of luck of which the gemstone plays a small but significant part so if you think of uh, think of wearing gemstones in that way it's a very healthy way of uh, uh, thinking of it so um, let's say you're uh, recommended to wear a munga or a, a coral now coral is ruled by Mars Mangal, which is a hot-headed uh, planet of uh, excessive energy, um, of a lot of aggression, goes for what it wants, whether it's in business, whether it's in love life, in your love life. Uh, so uh, these are the qualities that you possess yourself, Mars being one of the most prominent planets in your horoscope, which is why it's been recommended to you. So always think that this, this stone is going to enhance the qualities that I already have. Now those qualities may have diminished over the years or I might have uh, you know, lost in touch with the person that I really am or the qualities that um, the strengths that I have and think of the gemstone as a reminder of those strengths, uh, of those qualities that you possess and um, that are instrumental in making you the, the person that you are. Uh, so if this is a coral, you could be asked to wear uh, the pearl. Um, which is uh, signifies the nurturing qualities of the moon now let's say uh, you've gone to an astrologer and i don't know the the intricacies of your horoscope and please don't even ask me that because i'm not an astrologer uh, we do have an in-house in astrologer here um so uh, at smoke Tanjuri jewelry studio uh, so if you do want to uh, if you do want your birth chart uh, read just uh, leave me a comment and i'll um, get you in touch with our astrologer uh, i personally don't know uh, much about astrology uh, um, but um, I do know that um, if uh, I'm talking from the geological uh, perspective uh, that if you do uh, want to wear a pearl um, and even if you've uh, approached your um, astrologer with uh, say a problem that you're having in your career or in your business the moon will enhance the nurturing qualities inherent in you that help you further your business as a business leader you're the kind of person who will um, you know absorb the energies around them and uh, react in a very empathetic way to them you are very empathetic towards your co-workers you are very empathetic towards your employees you are very um, uh, impressionable uh, to others emotions and you um, you nurture them uh, you take care of people you are you are you are the mother boss even if you are not a woman even, even for a man a lot of men have uh, very nurturing qualities so you're ruled by the moon and wearing a pearl will, will and should remind you that these are the qualities that are going to ensure success and happiness for you so that's a very healthy way of uh, thinking while wearing uh, gemstones or while buying gemstones uh, another approach or another metaphor that works very well with gemstones is um, makeup um, now the makeup debate has been going on for donkey's years and uh, the whole it's a multi-billion dollar industry and there's that whole criticism that uh, it feeds on women's insecurities like if you are um, if you are um, if you're beautiful from within and if you're incredibly confident why do you need to wear makeup but listen some of the most beautiful women in the world uh, wear makeup um, it's not about uh, being 
um, being uh, not being confident or uh, not being beautiful or trying to make yourself beautiful when you're not it's merely about enhancing your best qualities about enhancing your best features now you wear mascara because you've got nice eyes and you want to enhance them you want you wear lipstick because you've got beautiful lips and you want to enhance them you want to bring uh, people's attention to your best features so you can think of gem, uh, gemstones exactly like that that's a very healthy uh, healthy approach that they um, enhance and hone the qualities that you already have but this can easily translate into a very um, addictive sort of um, um, addictive uh, version of the same like uh, with makeup you could go completely we know of many women who are addicted to makeup who can't step out of their house without wearing makeup who can't be seen dead in front of their spouse wearing um, no makeup so uh, that sort of addiction is unhealthy and uh, is really not desired the same with gemstones you don't want to be the kind of person who wakes up every morning and uh, you know wants to know what angle venus is with mars and um, exactly where saturn is sitting today and where is um, you know where is um, uh, jupiter going to travel tomorrow and ye kaun si dasha chal rahi hai iske beech mein that is your astrologer's job don't become obsessed with that sort of thing if you are with a trusted astrologer with an experienced astrologer he is going to um, you know look at all those things and he is that is it's very complicated uh, sort of a calculation it's not that simplistic which is why it requires years of experience but your astrologer does that job you don't be obsessed with it um and uh, you know don't um don't let it become an addiction um let it become something that enhances your personality that enhances your best qualities um but don't let it become an addiction um and then gemstones will become one of the most uh, beautiful things that you can wear and um uh, one of the things that really help you um enhance your life's journey and achieve the things that you want to So in the next video, I really want to talk about um, certain birthstones um, that are not recommended in Indian astrology, um, in Vedic astrology, but they're, they're still very beautiful. And they're birthstones like the amethyst for February, uh, peridot for um, August. Um, these are incredibly beautiful stones. Aquamarine for March. Oh, I love the aquamarine. It's literally one of my most um, beautiful, adored gemstones. So I am going to talk about uh, these in the next video. Um, so for now, this is it. And if you have any questions, um, please ask me in the comments below. Do like and um, share this video, and uh, do subscribe to my channel for more information on gemstones as well as jewelry. See you next time. Bye.